हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मिहिर कुलकर्णी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ के कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ऑटोनोमस कोल्हापुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग यूनिट नंबर वन ऑफ मैकेटोनिक सिस्टम्स इन विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्कैडा स्कैडा इज सुपरवाइजरी कंट्रोल एंड डेटा एक्विजिशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडे लेसन सिक्स ऑफ इट दैट इज कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ स्कैडा so we have seen what is scada systems what is the overview of scada uh, what are the different functions which are done by the scada system what is the history of scada types of scada domains in which scada systems are used and in earlier lecture we have seen what is the architecture of scada in today's lecture we are going to see component of scada so let us discuss the components of scada so scada consists of these many components uh, the first component is hmi so which is human machine interface this communication interfaces are used so uh, this is second component uh, third component we can call it as a uh, plc that is programmable logic controller then scada programming is one of the important uh, you can say component of uh, scada systems fifth is as discussed in earlier lecture rtu that is remote terminal unit this is also used in scada programming and supervisory system uh, is another component so let us discuss about these components in detail uh, in uh, upcoming slides so first human machine interface so human machine interface is input output device that presents the data to the controlled by the human operator it is used by linking to the scada system software programs for providing the information including scheduled maintenance procedures detailed schematics trending and diagnostic data for a specific sensor or a machine human machine inter interaction hmi system facilitates operating personnel to see information graphically so that once seeing that information graphically the person will be able to take some decision the decision taking will be easier and once he is taking that decision even that decision will be communicated to the scada system through this hmi only so human machine in interface is one of the important component uh, you can see on the slide that this kind of uh, entire network can be seen uh, in the scada systems and one person uh, looking at all these different uh, terminals uh different different uh, you can see systems he will be monitoring and based on that he will be taking some decision uh, in the scada system so this is human machine interface the another component is supervisory system so supervisory system is used as server for communicating between the equipment of the scada system such as rtu plcs and sensors etc the human machine interface software used in the control room work stations uh, this is master station uh, comprises a single pc in a smaller scada systems and in case of larger scada systems it comprises of distributed software applications disaster recovery sites and multiple servers so remote monitoring includes all these things so current states different pressures at different different locations can be uh, you can say monitored from one particular location alarms are generated so these are the some of the red alarms are there some of the uh, orange alarms are there some of the green alarms are there some of the yellow alarms are there so alarms and events are generated using scada systems and such kind of trends are you can say monitored using scada systems then one of the important uh, you can say component in scada system is remote terminal unit so here physical objects 
in the SCADA systems are interfaced with the microprocessor controlled electronic device called as remote terminal unit RTU. So, these units are used to transmit telemetry data to the supervisory system and receive messages from the master system for controlling connections or connected objects. Data logging and alarm handling, it asks uh, filled devices for information. It can control IEDs that is intellectual uh, electronic devices and it can work as a slave or master device uh, whatever is uh, you can say informed or instructed by the master uh, SCADA system it will try to implement it or it will be acting as a master for a device and uh, it will be acting uh, to the device directly as a master device. So, uh, it is one of the important terminal uh, you can say or component in used in SCADA system that is uh, uh, RTU, so remote terminal unit. So, it is also called as RTU. Okay. The another uh, component is programmable logic controller. So, here in SCADA systems, the programmable logic controllers are connected to the sensors for collecting the sensors output signal in order to convert the sensor signals into the digital data. So, PLCs are used instead of RTUs because of advantages of PLCs like flexibility, configuration, versatility, affordability and as compared to the RTUs. So, PLCs are one of the reliable uh, controller. Uh, it is it has more capabilities than RTU and uh, looking into some of the advantages of PLCs uh, over RTUs the programmable logic controllers are also used into the SCADA system uh, instead of RTUs. The communication infrastructure it generally combines the radio direct wired connections uh, used in SCADA systems, but in case of large systems like power stations or railway kind of network as we discussed in different domains, uh, the wireless networks are frequently used because uh, if the wire is not working or you can say if uh, you are not able to establish signals from the radio connections, wireless networks are more reliable. So, private network LANs are used or internet is used or wireless communication systems are used over here. Different protocols which are used in this kind of systems are these many that, that could be Modbus or DNP 3.0, Fieldbus, uh, controller in your network that is CAN or uh, Profibus or DirectNet, TCP IP protocol or it, in Ethernet kind of protocol. So, these are the different uh, communication protocols used for kind of communication. SCADA server is or important element in uh, SCADA systems. Uh, it can be a web server, it can be used for data logging, it, it analyzes, the, it uh, serves as a uh, client through the firewalls, uh, clients connected through the internet, uh, real time decision making is also done. Uh, it asks RTU for information, so all these things are done by the SCADA server. Uh, SCADA programming is also one of the uh, crucial or critical factor because uh, for running a HMI, SCADA programming or master is used for creating graphs, diagrams which will give an important situational uh, information in case of event failures or the press process failures. Okay. So, SCADA programming can be done using derived programming language or C language. So, C language can be used in the SCADA programming and uh, uh, for human machine interfaces or uh, developing different alarms uh, systems, this SCADA programming will be critical. So, uh, that is it about uh, different systems which are used in SCADA. So, uh, we have seen all the different different basics into last 4 to 5 lectures into uh, the SCADA programming. So, uh, SCADA is supervisory control and data acquisition. So, these are all different components of the SCADA programming uh, 
quickly revising this kind of components could be uh, the HMIs, supervisory controls or you can say uh, the SCADA software, uh, PLCs, RTUs, uh, communication devices, these are used as a controllers in the SCADA system. So that is it uh, for this particular lecture. Thank you very much for listening this particular lecture.